Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on subarachnoid hemorrhage. Subarachnoid hemorrhage is a spontaneous bleeding into the subarachnoid space and it is often catastrophic. It's usually an emergency. Typical age is around 35 to 65 years old. These are some of the causes of subarachnoid hemorrhage, which includes berry aneurysm rupture, which is 80% out of all the cases. The common sites are at the junctions of posterior communicating artery with the internal carotid artery, or at the junction of the anterior communicating artery with the anterior cerebral artery, or at the bifurcation of the middle cerebral artery. Other causes include arterial venous malformation, which is 15% out of all the cases, and the remaining 5% would be due to other causes, such as CNS infection like encephalitis or vasculitis, tumour invading the blood vessels, and it can also be idiopathic, where we don't know the cause. The risk factors for one having subarachnoid hemorrhage are if they have a previous aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage, where this time they may be formation of new aneurysms, or the old aneurysms get bigger, causing a rupture, and then hemorrhage. Other risk factors include smoking, alcohol drinking, hypertension, bleeding disorders, and it can also be due to subacute bacterial endocarditis, causing mycotic aneurysm. Family history also increases the risk by 3 to 5 times. Polycystic kidneys, coarctation of iota, and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome are all associated with berry aneurysms. The symptoms that the patient might complain of are headache, which is a classical presentation. They will describe it as sudden in onset and excruciating headache, which is very painful, typically at the occipital region of the head. And the classical description is it is like a thunderclap headache. Other symptoms include symptoms of increase in intracranial pressure, such as vomiting, or collapse, seizure, and coma often follows. And the coma or drowsiness may last for days. The signs we should look out for next stiffness. Chronic sign might be positive. Retinal, subhyaloid, and vitreous bleedings. Or focal neurology deficit. So focal neurology at presentation may suggest the site of the aneurysm. For example, if we note that there is pupil changes, which might indicate a third cranial nerve palsy, then it may be due to a posterior communicating artery aneurysm. For investigations, do an urgent CT scan of the brain, which will be able to detect more than 95% of the subarachnoid hemorrhage within the first 24 hours. So this is a picture, the first picture showing the CT brain. We can see the bones and the arteries containing the contrast. And you can see the arrows are pointing to an aneurysm in the middle cerebral artery. Whereas the second picture will show the blood from the ruptured aneurysm occupying the interhemispheric fissure, especially you see at the top arrow and also other parts. So if the CT brain is negative, but the history is very suggestive of subarachnoid hemorrhage and provided that there is no contraindications, then we can consider doing a lumbar puncture. This lumbar puncture is done more than 12 hours after the onset of headache. This is to allow the breakdown of the red blood cells so that a positive sample is centochromic, which is yellow due to bilirubin. For management, refer all proven subarachnoid hemorrhage cases to neurosurgery immediately. Regular monitoring of the BP chart, pupils, and the GCS score. If there is any deterioration, repeat the CT scan to look for the progress. Medication that can be given are like nimodipine, which is a calcium antagonist. It will help to reduce the vessel spasm and also reduce consequent mobility from the cerebral ischemia. Surgery includes endovascular coiling or surgical clipping. And this decision will depend on the accessibility and the size of the aneurysm. And this will be decided by the neurosurgery department. There are also newer techniques such as balloon remodeling and floor diversion that can be helpful in those aneurysms which are anatomically challenging. That's all for this video, thank you.